In this section of the tutorial, we'll use XCP Designer to configure a real-time query data service to fetch a list of claim folders for a policy that is shown when a user is looking at the details of a policy. So, in the XCP Navigator, select the Data Services tab, right-click on Real-Time Query, and select New Real-Time Query. For Label, enter RTQ underscore claims related to a policy. For primary model, select Folders. And in the list of models, select Claim. Then click Finish. Now let's select the Dataset tab. Double click the Incident Date, Amount, Vehicle in Motion, Claim Status, and Object ID Attributes under the Context Data pane at the right to add these attributes to the list of output columns. Remember that adding object ID is a good practice in case it needs to be passed on to an interaction or widget later. Okay, so we've added the output columns to the data set. So now let's select the User Inputs tab. This is where we'll configure the query to filter the results based on the policy that the claims are related to. In the Context Data pane at the right, in the top section, select the Claim folder. Then expand the Policy Relationship then select the Relationships Policy Business Object to display the attributes of that custom type and to expose the object ID for selection. In the bottom section, scroll down to and double-click Object ID to add it to the User Input section on the left. And verify that you've added Policy.ObjectID and not Claim.ObjectID. In the User Input section on the left, select the Policy.ObjectID data field Notice that the operator is set to equals. That's a good default setting, so let's leave it at that. Check the Problems tab for errors. And we're done with this, so let's close and save the query editor.